everything, I think. So having faculty development as a central part and early part of curriculum development was, was crucial. And it's really interesting. It's not just to teach them how to develop curriculum. No. That wasn't the goal. It was to teach them to really transform their pedagogical strategies. Exactly. Exactly. We, we started with how do people learn? What do we mm -hmm. know about human mm -hmm. learning now? Mm -hmm that we didn't know 10 years ago or 15 mm -hmm. years ago. And so we, we um, had about representatives from each of the campuses that had agreed to be full partners in OCNI. So we had about uh, 40 people in our very nimble curriculum committee, as you can yeah. imagine. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, 40 people on your curriculum change committee, yes. Yeah, exactly. That you need to go for deep learning of the discipline's most important concepts and that uh, the superficial content coverage just won't do. And yeah, certain... teaching about everything and teaching almost nothing, right? Exactly, exactly. So that, you know, the more you try to cover, the less that will actually be learned. Mm -hmm. And so we early on said, okay, so how is it then that we can help students learn? How do we decide the discipline's most important concepts? And then what do we do to help them learn? So. Um, the IOM report, one of the IOM reports came out about that time, about 2003 or 2004, that looked at where some of the major gaps in care and education are and uh, addressed what they termed the foci of care. Mm -hmm. And we adopted that language because it made a great deal of sense in saying that the, the focus being when I'm with a, a client, my focus now is on health promotion and looking at health behavior change, looking at what might be health risks, doing assessment for health risks, and engaging that client in problem solving about um, changes. Mm -hmm. And when you're in chronic care, your focus is different. You're looking at helping people learn how to manage a new chronic illness, how to live with disability or functional deficits uh, as part of chronic illness care. And so that was another focus. And then the third focus, um, the more traditional acute care, where, the, where you're really trying to help students learn to recognize rapidly changing situations and how to respond appropriately, and your focus then is on recovery. Mm -hmm. and, and then end of life care, uh, which brings yet a different perspective and, and viewpoint. So this became the overriding framework for our curriculum. So so the curriculum looks very different and you know, being cross lifespan. Uh, then we uh, focus on major concepts that are embedded within those. So we, mm -hmm. in chronic illness, we're interested in trajectory and how the, where the person is on the trajectory influences, you know, our practice with that person and the kind of things that we'll be concerned about. We integrate health assessment instead of having a standalone health assessment course because we want the students to learn health assessment in the context that they need it. Mm -hmm. So that they understand that health assessment is not a task to be done, as we, mm -hmm. as we saw mm -hmm. often new nurses see, but rather uh, as something that provides them information about which they can make decisions. And you really do emphasize uh, health assessment in that very first health promotion course, we which do. I think is dynamite. Yes, so they, they learn about health risks. What are common health risks for different age groups? Mm -hmm. You know, how do we assess these? You know, and the main assessment tools they need for that first course are a really good history, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, ability to, you know, do a inspection and vital signs. You know, mm -hmm. those are the main tools that you use. You don't mm -hmm. need any more of the mm -hmm. sophisticated assessment tools. In chronic illness, the focus will be a functional assessment. You mm -hmm. know, how well is this person able to manage their daily living? Mm -hmm. you know, or do they have some issues that they might need some assistance? The third quarter, they'll learn assessment skills that are appropriately targeted toward rapidly changing situations mm -hmm. where you need, you know, cardiac assessment, pulmonary mm -hmm. assessment, mm -hmm. you know, sort of things that will tell you that things are not as they should be with the patient. So, so the skills are tied to the focus of those courses.